Hello everyone, Dale Martin here from Splendor Instructional Technology with a short video on how to keep students accountable for progress in Pathblazer. Pathblazer is an excellent tool for blended learning. After the screener and diagnostic test is complete, Pathblazer will build a specific instructional pathway for each of the students in your class. You can be sure that students are receiving instructional support at their instructional level. For blended learning to be effective, it's important to hold students accountable when they're working on the computers independently. While you might be working in small group with other students in the class. Fortunately, Pathblazer makes it really easy to do that right from the student's uh, home screen. So I'm going to show you um, in a demo account uh, how you can uh, hold students accountable uh, very easily right from this page. So first let's simulate that a student is working um, in their content. So I picked math. Remember we always pick diagnostic A pretest. Even if the kids have finished this pretest, you're always going to click on uh, diagnostic A pretest. It's always uh, click to the left. Then I'm going to always follow the snowflake. In this case, um, I'm going to click the second tab. I'm still always following the snowflake. Remember, if tabs are grayed out, that just means that on my diagnostic test, I scored high enough that I didn't have to work in these particular lessons. So I'm going to again follow the snowflake. And yet again, I'm going to follow that snowflake to instructional practice. And you notice what's happening across the top here. Every time I click, I have a breadcrumb, if you will, um, that gets me further and further away from this home page. So um, let's go ahead and click into the content. So this is the actual uh, class, um, sorry, Learning Odyssey Pathblazer content. And I could click start. And I'm in the activity. So here's the trick. What you want to do is you want to set a procedure in your class where you want to stop a few minutes before the end of the session rotation or the end of your class. You might set like a three minute timer to remind you um, to finish just a few minutes early. So when the timer goes off, just ask your students to their home page and to click on that portfolio or backpack. Very simple. Students are going to come up here to the left. They're going to click on the uh, three bars. They're going to close the activity. And click the exit activity at the bottom. Once we click the exit activity, we can click the home page or we can go right to the portfolio. In this case, I'm going to click the home button takes me back to my original um, home page and then we click in the upper left hand corner portfolio so this is where you are looking over the student's shoulder and you can see exactly what demo dale has done today um, he worked in the activity uh, at about 10:38, up until about 10:38, so just a few seconds ago and he is approximately halfway finished. So each activity takes about 15 minutes, so you would adjust accordingly. Um, if I have two or three activities completed here, and the students were given the entire class period, say 45 minutes, then you know that they were working productively. On the other hand, if you've given them 45 minutes, and all of these are blank, and none of these are even uh, partially blue, then you know that that student wasn't using their time wisely and that might be a behavioral conversation and follow-up as opposed to something instructional. If you see a bunch of activities and all of them are blank, then that student is either very confused about the program um, or they're having difficulty with the skills and they're just clicking around.
So you can also see for the week and you can also take a look for the month. And as you can see for the month, um, way back in November, uh, I did take the uh, diagnostic pretest. So a quick and easy way to hold your students accountable couple of minutes right before the period ends, have the timer go off, walk up, have your students click on the portfolio, and you will see their recent work. And you can print these if you need to, and a um, great way to hold your students accountable. So if you have any questions, just reach out by email or telephone, and see you on the next one. Have a good day.